right, now that we have our Aurora software installed and registered, next thing we want to do is add users to it. So I'm going to launch the Aurora application. Remember that default login is KeyScan, KeyScan, and the password is all caps. So if we go to the gear icon and up to manage system users, we see right now the only user in there in there is KeyScan. So I'm going to add a user. I'm going to give the username of community just because this is the user I'm going to use for the integration. Right now I'm just going to give it a simple password of 1234. And I'm going to confirm that password. The reason I'm doing that is because once you log in as this user, you will be forced to change the password. And this user is not a valid user until you log in with it. So I'm just going to call this user community integration and just leave it as user type of user because they don't need admin privileges. Now the boxes to check over here, pay attention to this list. I'm going to tell you the minimum things you need to check for this to work. We need to do view people, add people, edit people, delete people. And then if we expand out credentials, we need to be able to add, edit and delete credentials. We don't have to view. And on the group access level, we have to edit. We don't need view privileges. We don't need per person photos at all. On the optional field values, we do want to change that one to edit. We don't need view. And then if we go down to the software option, we're going to go to groups and edit or excuse me, view groups. We do not need edit privileges, only view privileges there. So this is the base options we need selected. Just make your list look like this. That way the community user will have access to what it needs to talk to the Aurora software. Now I'm gonna save this. And remember I said this user is not valid until you log in with it. So I'm gonna close the software, open it back up again. And I'm gonna log in as community, that password I did was one, two, three, four. And you see it's forcing me to change my password. You know, just for this demo, I'm gonna give it a password of community. You can do whatever you want. But I'm just gonna do community and community. You see I have a lot less options showing here. That's because this is just for the integration, nothing else. Having a user just for the integration allows me to track what happens in Aurora by the integration piece versus what somebody logging in would do. So that takes care of our user setup. Join us next time for panel setup.